Okay, so there's probably a lot of songwriters out there that really know chords more than they know music and music theory and reading piano notes. So say you're a guitar player and you know how to play a C or you know how to play an E minor. How do you translate the chords of a guitar to a piano without having to read music? The secret is this, okay? All you have to remember is 4-3 for major, 3-4 for minor. And here's how it works. You start from any note on the piano. So we're just to make it easy, we're going to start with C. So we start here with C, and then we count four. It's not counting the C, starting the key next to it. One, two, three, four. So you've got your thumb on C, and then you count four, and you've got your middle finger on the fourth note, which in the and for the chord of C major, it's an E. And then you count three from there. So you start again from the E, and you go one, two, three. So you've got your C, you've got your middle finger on the E, and you've got your pinky on the G, and you've got a C major chord. Minor, instead of 4-3, it's 3-4. So over here on the right side, here's a C minor. You start on C, and you count 3. 1, 2, 3. So then you've got your middle finger on the E flat. But again, you don't even have to know what name of the chord, name of the note you're playing is. The main thing you need to know is the first note you're playing. So if you're looking to play an A major, you got to know where the A is. But then from that point forward, you don't have to know any more notes. You just count 4-3 for, for major, 3-4 for minor. So back over here to C, we've got C, 1-2-3, middle finger on E flat, and then you just count 4, 1-2-3-4, and we end up with a pinky still on the same G. Uh, if you can remember, if you've got 4-3 for a major chord, if you take your middle finger and move it down one one key, that's the minor chord. And that's an easy cheat too, because then you have to remember it's just 4-3, and to play a minor, I just take my middle finger and move it down one note. So, and that's it. If you can't remember that, 4-3 major, 3-4 minor works every time from any chord. So you can read chord charts on the piano, because once you start getting it, you start remembering, like the same way when you play a C on a guitar, I'm not thinking, okay, I'm on the A string, I'm on the third fret, that's a this note. I remember this is the shape of a C, this is an E minor, and I memorize where it goes. You can do the same exact thing on a piano. So really my piano playing is pretty much just memorizing chords. And so I've got my C, and then what I do with my left hand is I take, if I'm playing a C major, I'll put a, my thumb on the C and my pinky an octave lower and I've got the octave of the note my phone is ringing in my left hand and I've got the chord on my right hand so I've got again if I'm playing a C minor I'm playing a C minor in my right hand which is C E flat G again you don't have to know the notes and then my left hand is just playing the octave so if you can just remember four three three four and there are same things for to do seventh chords and stuff we'll get there but for now let's just stick to major and minor so now when we're playing this song in Pro Tools and I say play an E minor you know you start on an E and you count three four so let's move on to that and let's play some chords to this little piece that we're just playing with okay let's go